Hey guys, welcome back. Reese and Ben here at Pursuing the Alley Arts. And today we got to explore some more techniques from Le Jeu de la Hache, the play of the X. So this one we got to play with a, a couple of really fun counters for dealing with the plays from the Demi Hash. So which you guys saw in the previous video. So previously we covered paragraph 29. Uh, and that was if you're at a bind at the Demi Hash, you uh, turn your back. Uh, and rip his axe out from his hands using the back to hook his axe uh, in between his hands on the demi hash. And uh, I alluded to the fact that there would be a, uh, that there were counters to this, and uh, these are them. Yeah, so check it out. Paragraph 31. If it is the same hold on you, release your lower hand and he will do nothing. Paragraph 32. You can otherwise counter it by following up his tugging. Step forward as he pulls and from there, stepping with your left foot to his right side, you will be able to throw the tail of your axe onto his neck, knocking him over as it is said in the aforesaid parry by the mean of Demiash. Paragraph 33. If he does it to you, you already know the counter to it in said parry by means of Demiash. Alright guys, that concludes the video. Really appreciate you guys watching, as always. And uh, we're going to discuss a little bit about what we learned about the said techniques. So uh, the first one we did uh, was paragraph 31. And that was uh, where you simply let go your lower hand and it says re to return to your guard. So that one's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty, uh, pretty simple. But uh, I found it really interesting because uh, as this momentum is going down, he's got, he thinks he's got that hook. Let it go and just kind of guides it to... My original position. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty. That's a straightforward, really simple one of those. Yeah, why didn't you think of that techniques? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just it just negates the the pull that I'm going to have on the axe. Uh, it, it requires him to preemptively plan on that, or to, for me to hit too close to that hand and strip the axe only from that hand, and then he can recover his axe. Still, that's why the technique specifically tells you to hook dead center, because if you hit dead center and make a uh, an even pull, it'll take it out of both of his hands. Yeah. Um, but if he's aware of this, and he just eases that one hand off, that yeah, completely negates your technique and leaves you just stand there uh, with nothing. Yeah. And previously, you know, like I said in the, in the video before, uh, when I had, I, I felt I had a really strong grip. It went between my thumbs, and I felt like I, I, I didn't have anything at that point. So, what was really cool is that he tells you exactly how to counter this said technique, and it's stupid simple. Before, I, I thought there was nothing that was going to stop that, but it's as simple as just letting go of your lower hand. So, pretty cool. Um, the next one we did was the um, paragraph 32, in which uh, if when he pulls uh, with the back between your hands, again, letting go with that lower hand, and you just uh, fall through, having uh, your left foot behind his right foot, and go for like a neck wrench. Mm -hmm. So that was really, really cool to me. Yep. Um, just it just felt it's having it swayed the same way uh, back and around and then suddenly I'm on top yep. throwing it. Yeah, and, and what what the German art would be basically a knock rising almost, where uh, he pull he does the technique and you just follow after him um, as he's departing. Um, it worked out really well. It sets you dead into the position to throw him. Um, when your hands release to the axe and your your tail swinging around, it it's like perfectly. Mm -hmm set up just swing around and lay it right onto his neck to regain your axe with the other hand and wrench him right off of his feet. 
or, or rinsed me off my feet in, a, in a, this situation. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that uh, it's definitely a solid lead into a back lever throw. Uh, the last one, of course, uh, in the treatise, they often uh, they'll, they'll remind you of stuff you've learned before. Mm -hmm. So the the other one was uh, paragraph 33. Uh, it says, uh, if he does it to you, you already know the counter to it. So, on our first video of covering the uh, play of the axe, you, had, you guys actually saw this, in which uh, the, the opponent were to throw a, uh, a strike with a maul, a tour de bras, mm -hmm. and uh, you were to catch it with a demi hash and try to go around and go for a throw. In which case, you just simply retreat your axe backwards and go for his armpit. Mm -hmm. And then if you miss, which can can be the case sometimes. Uh, if it goes past his armpit, all you have to do is simply push up your hands and then try to push him out of the list or, mm -hmm. or otherwise. So, Yeah, the, the demi hash shove is a common uh, occurrence in Lejeu. Uh, we're also seeing, uh, in as with most uh, Beck books and treatises that we have, uh, most everything there is a, a technique and then there's a counter to the technique and then there's a counter to the counter and so on until you wind up at a, you know, a stalemate where there's just, there's a few situations, there's one illustrated in here that there's no, uh, it just says take it away <laughs> as fast as you can because you're, you're kind of at an impasse. But uh, for the most part, every technique that, you, that we've seen employed, there's always a technique that you can employ to counter it if you have the presence of mind at the moment to, to do it. And uh, this is just an example of that. It's also returning to that constant theme of if this happens, do this. And if you wind up in this position, do this. And it's if you've got the the way it plays out in, in Lejeu is this is this is a, a common position you'll wind up finding yourself in, as many of the techniques end in this in these same situations. And uh, knowing how to avoid that is great. And both of these counters work out really well because your natural reaction all from that that rip is to actually return with the thrust anyway. So as he steps in, if you just aim that thrust at his armpit, you can stop him from coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, it worked out pretty well, and actually, you know, stop where he's dead in his tracks uh, with that pole axe pretty, pretty yeah. easily. Yeah, and it hurt without mail. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, the more we're working through this treatise, um, it, it's the more we're, we're looking through it. It's just it's super simple, and that's what you want when you're when you're doing harness. You don't want to have any big crazy movements. You want to have it really simple and to the point. And this is a great uh, treatise showing that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're looking forward to playing with this tree to see some more. Um, it's been a main focus of ours as of late. So you guys will see that more. And um, we, uh, again, we look forward to bringing you guys more content. Uh, if you guys like what we're doing, uh, be sure to check out our Patreon page. If you guys wish to uh, support us and uh, you know, have us continue doing this. So all your uh, proceeds will go to um, helping us improve the channel. We're gonna get some new equipment. equipment. So there's a camera, microphones, all that uh, necessary stuff to just improve the quality of the channel. So, uh, and to our Patreon supporters, uh, helping us right now, we truly thank you. You guys are helping us keep the channel alive. So thank you very much. And uh, as always, guys, appreciate watching. We'll see you guys next video. Take care.